Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, we will be answering a question coming from one of our subscribers in which this came from Digital Circuits 1, Logic Circuit, and Switching Theory. So the main topic here is number system. So the problem is find the unknown base for 34 times 62 is equal to 3,131. But before that, shout out muna kay Mary Ann Pamitan. And thank you so much, Lodi Geeks, sa patuloy na support mo sa channel ni Sir IJ. And Sir IJ is always hoping you all the best. Keep safe and galing mo lagi. So yung problem natin is find the unknown base for 34 multiplied by 62 is equal to 3131. Okay, we will now proceed to the solution part. But before we proceed, we'll go back to the basic. Alam natin na kapag uh, base 10, which is yung commonly used mga Lodi Cakes, kunyari decimal number. Let's say the number is 2023. Alam natin na ang 2023 is written as 2 times 10 cubed plus 2 times 10 squared I'm sorry, plus 0 pala to. Plus 0 times 10 squared plus 2 times 10 raised to 1 plus 3 times 10 raised to 0. <coughs> Excuse me mga Lord Gates. So anong gagawin natin dyan sir IJ? Bakit naging ganyan? Ito kasi yung 1s, ito yung 10s, ito yung 100s, ito yung 1000s. 1s is 10 raised to 0, 10 raised to 1 is for the 10s, 100s, 1000s. So example lang yan. What if we are expressed in terms of base B? So, anong gagawin natin? Kunyari, 34 base B. Ibig sabihin niyan, kasi kumbaga ang, ina, ah, ang inahanap natin is the unknown base. So, ito, this can be expressed as 3B plus 4. Bakit naging ganyan, Sir IG, mabilis? Kasi nga, that is 3 times B raised to 1 plus 4 times B raised to 0. Alam natin na ang B raised to 0 is equal to 1, kaya naging 3B plus 4 siya. Considering the logic we have in the decimal system, in which we express 2023 as 2 times 10 cubed plus 0 times 10 squared plus 2 times 10 raised to the first power plus 3 times 10 raised to 0. So with that, we can conclude that since we're looking for the base B, so we can express this as 3B plus 4 multiplied by, so this is 6B plus 2. Okay. However, ito, apat na digits yan. So, ito, wala, constant lang. Ito, B, ito, B squared, ito, B cubed. Parang ganito lang, mga Lodi Cake. So, this will be equal to 3, B cubed, plus B squared, plus 3B, plus 1. And then, solve for B. If calculators are not allowed, so, dapat talaga mano-mano, mga Lodi Cakes. Kasi, we will be solving for all the possible values of B. And recall na yung, yung base natin, must never be negative or fraction. So, dapat yan mga Lodi Cakes, positive. So, anong gagawin natin, Sir IJ? So, just multiply. So, 3B times 16B. So, you have 18B squared plus 4 times 6. That's 24B. Tapos, meron tayong 6B plus 8 equals 3B cubed plus B squared plus 3B plus 1. And then, combine like terms. So, we have 3B cubed. B squared to mga Lodi Cakes, diba? So, B squared minus 18B squared. So, that's negative 17B squared. 3B minus 24 plus 6, that's 30B. 3 minus 30, that's negative 27B. 1 minus 8, that's negative 7 equals 0. So, pwede ka nang gumamit dito ng synthetic division. Tingnan mo munang maigi, ano ba yung pinaka-constant natin? So, applying the rational root theorem, kung babalikan mo yung gradient topic mo, the possible roots of this are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 7, plus or minus 1 third, kasi kailangan pa yung coefficients nito, and plus or minus 7 over 3. Pero ano bang gagawin natin dyan, Sir IJ? So, pag tinesting mo kasi agad yung 1 Lodi, pwede mo i-substitute. Hindi pwede yan. Kasi parang 3 minus 17 na lang. ba ang 1 cube is 1, 1 squared is 1. So, 3 minus 70, negative 40, minus 27, negative 41, minus 7, hindi na siya magsi-zero. So, pwede ka mag-start by using the positive 7 kasi dapat ang base must be positive. So, by synthetic division, mga Lodi Gates, ito pinakamadali. Synthetic division, so we have 3, negative 17, negative 27, negative 7. So, yung iba dito nilalagay, yung iba naman sa kabila. So, sige, okay lang yan. Try natin yung positive 7. 
So, bring down 3. 3 times 7, that's 21. This is 4. 4 times 7, 28. Positive 1, add lang natin. Times 7, 7, 0. So, from B cubed, this will now be reduced as 3B squared plus 4B plus 1 equals 0. So, by factoring, we have 3B plus 1 multiplied by B plus 1 equals 0. Solving for B, we will be having negative values, which are negative 1 third and negative 1. So, basically, this must be discarded or this must be dis um, must not be included. Since ang nakuha natin positive is 7, so, the correct answer for this problem is 7. So, ganun lang po yung pag-process niya. So, this is more of algebraic approach. Kasi yun lang naman talaga yung pwede, mga idol. And I hope you learned something new for today. And I hope you all the best, especially those who keep on su supporting our channel. Thank you so much, mga idol. Kita kit sa mga susunod na tutorial videos si Sir IJ regarding engineering and math-related contents. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.